In Oakland, California, this driver going through a green light gets stopped by this white truck. Come on! Now it sounds like this guy actually lets off a round at the driver. Now there's an awful lot to unpack here, with his aggression of not being able to run through a red light, his bizarre shoelace belt coming flying off, dropping his pants, but more importantly his blurred out face, because I didn't do that, because the video is from ABC7 in Oakland, where ABC7 stated they hidden the identity of that man over safety concerns, because somehow they're afraid of what might happen to the guy letting off random shots at cars in the streets. Because they get to know what he looks like and how to avoid him in the streets, but to all the peasants watching, may the odds ever be in your favor. Because I think I know where this nonsense stems from. Back in July of 2020, neighboring San Francisco PD announced they will no longer release mugshots of people arrested to stop perpetuating racial stereotypes, but unless they pose a threat to the public. So just over two years ago, San Francisco police stated they were trying to promote equity, but not at the risk of public safety. But now Oakland just says, no, make crime safer. Because apparently safety makes you a bigot. Now this story keeps getting worse, as ABC7 reports the guy that got shot at tried to follow a police report but was stopped. He said he called three times but Oakland PD just said they didn't complete the report but they'll look into it. But now the victim is just saying hey maybe I won't honk at anybody anymore because now he just gets to live in constant fear that he might be shot at which is almost getting to New York City levels of absurdity matching their billboard of if you don't like being mugged then you are the problem. Now obviously this is just a dig at terrible liberal policies on crime but we're really not far from it. Look at these California street takeovers where the fire department can't even make it to emergencies anymore because of the lawlessness. <laughs> now compare California police funding to Texas police funding. That's the state trooper, the hell can. Now I'm not necessarily saying the police should just have free reign to do whatever they want. Just look at Chicago PD, just running stop signs and over people. Now today is September 11th and I'm wearing my red, white, and blue stars headband again. Even though I know it makes me look like a sub-zero sushi chef. But hopefully we can take this moment and find what's really important in life and realize most people enjoy American values. Although there's a lot of loud people working online, a lot of those are actually just robots or paid for accounts by foreign interests or just easily manipulated people by those said accounts. And I do truly believe that we are the silent majority. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help us get to 100,000 ducks. And if you haven't already, check out my video on how New York City is reaching Grand Theft Auto video game levels of crime. 